Good. All right. <clears throat> We're gonna start off by giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakadash, and double honors to our elder apostles and our elders at Great Millstone, GMS. Peace and blessings unto the elect of the nation of Israel. All right which consists of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, and Hispanics, and the brothers and sisters that look like the other nations because we've been scattered, all right? James 1 and 1, all right? This is the brothers from the uh, GMS Houston camp, and we're just going to go into uh, open forum, news and prophecy, all right? Because uh, as we can see, as the apostles uh, gave this year the, the, the title or the hidden, uh, the year to turn up, the Most High, Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai is definitely turning up the heat, man, and it ain't going down, okay? As we always say, we can definitely see things getting progressively worse. Things are getting progressively worse. Mm -hmm. uh, here, day before yesterday, or, or maybe the day before that, there was another uh, mass shooting, okay, with, uh, I think it was 19 children. Okay, if I'm not mistaken, mm -hmm. that, that got murdered. All right, and uh, a teacher, and then I, from the last I heard, it was now it's two teachers that, that have passed after that shooting. Okay, and um, mm -hmm. just a little side quick note, little quick side note, so like it, the guy that did the shooting, brothers had posted uh, pictures of his uh, social media page, he was a cross dresser. He was cross-dressing, wearing uh, women's clothes and stuff, which goes to show that when you're doing these types of things, you got heavy demons on you, and you're, you, 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 you're really insane. Mm -hmm. A sane person is not going to believe that they're they another uh, gender. They're going to know that they're the gender that they are. Yeah. You're insane if you think, like Bruce Jenner, if, you think, if he think he a woman, which he does, then he's insane. That's right. that's insanity. Okay. I appreciate it. Come you on. Get, make your point. Yeah. So and no, no, go, ahead, go, go, go ahead. Now I'm gonna say and to add on to that, you know, the scriptures tell us, and I'm gonna get it right. Here, matter of fact, I'm gonna just let the scriptures speak. In the book of Isaiah, the uh, 19th chapter, and let me get the verse. <clears throat> but this is another. This is really the main reason why people are bugging out and doing this. Right. Doing strange things, doing things that are insane. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Yes. That, that does, don't make sense. So let's read it. This is Isaiah 19 and 14. It says, The Lord, Yahweh, hath mingled a perverse spirit in the midst thereof. That's right. And and they have caused, they being the, uh, the spirits, yes. have caused Egypt to err in every work, and this Egypt right here is talking about America. It's yes. not talking about uh, Egypt over there in, in the eastern side of the hemisphere. Right. <clears throat> it says, "In to err in every work thereof, as a drunken man staggered in his vomit." So spirits on these people, and ultimately, who's doing who's who's doing all who's making all these things happen? Right. He is is Yahweh, yes, by Shem Yahweh Shai, and he's using the so-called white man because he set him up, Esau, you know, to uh, set up this perverted kingdom. When you go into yes. that word "pervert," it means to turn away, mm -hmm. or to turn out, and to turn away from what? Yep, the law, statutes, and commandments. So yep. that's the spirit of this place. Yes, is every uh, is to go against the grain of the of the law. Yes. Of the law of the most high, you know. Yeah. Cause he he sets himself against righteousness. You know? That's it. <clears throat> uh he's a, he's anti righteous. Uh that's Habakkuk, uh his soul which is lifted up in you, him. You know it? Oh, you got yeah, it. let's I I'll get it. All right. Okay. okay. <clears throat> he he's against really it's anti life. Yes, I got it. Oh, you go ahead. All right. <clears throat> this is Habakkuk chapter 2 and verse 4. Matter of fact, start at 3, Bible Kushar, if, Habakkuk, that, if Habakkuk, I'm not mistaken. Yeah, Habakkuk chapter 2 and verse 3. It say, For the vision is yet yeah. for an appointed time, Yes. but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Yep. Yeah. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come. It 
it will not tear it. Yes. And these visions, okay, are popping. These prophecies are popping. Okay. Mm -hmm. This devil being exposed is is happening on the on the largest scale that has ever happened. Esau yep. Edom. Even his own people are exposing them. Right. You know, as the scriptures say, his tongue shall fall upon his own self, roughly paraphrasing. You know? But the main way that he's being exposed is through the prophets of the Lord, man. Right. So we bring it out that he is the devil of, yes. the, of the Bible. See, yes. these people yes. that are exposing that's him, right. they're bringing out secret nuggets yeah. of information that's, you know, uh, that's supposed to be known behind doors. Uh, privy. Yeah. Privy, you know? But we bringing out the whole nine. Yes. We bringing out who this man is. Yes. Of course, his biblical nationality. Yes. You know? Yep. And it's all of y'all. Yes. You know, all of y'all are the the, uh, the damn devil. Right. Whether you the, the lowest of the low Joe six packs or whether you one of the Rothschilds. Right. You know, one of the elite banking family right. members. And, and what are they pushing? They pushing uh witchcraft. Yes. And like that guy that uh that did the mass shooting, the cross dressing dude, he could have been under MK Ultra. Mm -hmm. We know that the so called white man is behind this shit or could be. Yes. You know what I'm saying? But it's still uh, the credit still go to Yahweh, mm -hmm. you know, because he set this devil up. He's in control of all all things that happen, whether good or evil. You know. I got a precept for you. It's the Book of Proverbs, <clears throat> chapter sixteen, if I'm not mistaken. Four. Uh huh. This is Proverbs sixteen and four. It says, "The Lord Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh Shai, had made all things for himself." Yea, even the wicked for the day of evil. Even the wicked. Even, yes. When who is the wicked? We read Malachi 1 and 4. It tells us that Edom shall be called the border of yes. wickedness. Whom the Most High had indignation towards forever. Yep. So this is why these spirits are running rampant. The Most High set this man up. And it's really, that's that's the, uh, the tool of the most high yeah. that's pushing out yep. these demonic spirits. Yep. You know, conjuring up demons and casting spells on people. You know? Yep, the helm of the earth. And I still have the uh, Oh coin, that's right. Mm -hmm. So <clears throat> back in the book of Habakkuk, the second chapter, and the fourth verse it says, Behold, no I'm sorry, now, I'm starting at the third verse. It says, For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak. Yep. And uh, like the brothers going into, the vision is talking about the prophecies. You know, it's a vision singular, but in a vision, many things can happen inside of a, 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 a vision, you know. So we're in a time where the prophecies are being fulfilled. Yeah. And really, we see the last uh, major prophecies yeah. coupled a few major prophecies uh, uh, in the making of yes. being fulfilled. Yep. You know? Yep. Because this whole system, this biometric system, it's already set up. It's ready to go. And the people is prepped. That's where we at. Yeah. Everything is biometrically ready. Yes. Yes. If you go to pay for something, whether you want to check in, you want to check out, okay, whether you want to lock something or unlock it, you know, yep. it's all there yep. from our and from our phones. You can yep. do you can do everything off your phone. Yep. You know, even with the car, the cars, this technology. Yep. Ain't no more turning knobs and pushing buttons and all this shit. Nope. Even with this tap shit with your card. Yeah. On the on the on the scanner. Yep. You don't even gotta stick your chip in there. You just tap the screen. Tap it. And then and there you go. Yep. And this devil, he has a God complex, meaning he wants to be able to see all and know all. That's why everything is going digital. It's easier for him to track everybody. Mm -hmm. And that's his thing. He wants to track everybody. Now, the thing with the phone, I can leave my phone at the crib and then go somewhere and do something. Mm -hmm. But that charisma, 
You can't leave that nowhere. And if you leave your phone at the crib, what you gonna you do? You gonna get in. You gonna be in, you be in your car. That car can be tracked because you got the chip technology in your sure car. Sure do. Yep. And with these new electric cars, they can shut that shit down if they want. They can just cut your cut your car off. Yep. So what does that go into? Uh, uh, and they want absolute total power. control. Yep. Total control. They want to be. They want to be the uh, omnipotent. Yep. You see, all all powerful. Knowing that, knowing you know, they want to know if you naughty or nice. <laughs> you know? Yeah, they got. They want to be Santa Claus. <laughs> yeah. They really want to have when well, they they got the capabilities right now. That's how we yes, know we're right. in. That's right. They got the capabilities right now. They, they sure know do. what we talking about. Yep. They know what you're doing. Yep. Everything is being tracked and traced yep. and, and uh, uh, sent to a database. Yep. Me and the brother, uh, you know what? That was a different time. I was we were talking about bicycles, and then all these advertisements for bicycles just start coming on my phone every time I go on YouTube or I. Get ready to Google some numbered advertisements for bicycles. How in the hell did they know I wanted? I was looking for a bike. I never put it in my search engine on my phone. It just picked it up through conversation. Yeah. You know. Uh, there was another thing I was gonna say. Uh. Oh, I looked up. Uh, cause I I got me a new mattress, and when I looked it up. Now, everything I go on, mattress firm, mattress giant, hmm. mattress is mad. And I got to keep pushing, uh, not interested or it's irrelevant, I already bought this product. Get the yeah, just to keep those <clears throat> those particular advertisements from popping up on my phone. So what, I'm, what we're saying is that they already monitoring everything we do. Right. They know our patterns. Based off of, well, every day he gets up around such and such time, he goes to the, they know what we buy at the grocery store. They know what, they, it's like that movie, uh, uh, Minority Report. Mm -hmm. They, they knew what to advertise to Tom Cruise in that movie because they already knew his pattern. They knew, they knew what he was accustomed to doing and what he was accustomed to buying. And this devil, he want to track everything you buy and spend. Even with these cash apps and stuff like that, they want to know and track every what are they buying, right? What are they selling? Because that goes back to what absolute. They don't just want control. They right. want all absolute. the control. Yes. You see, that's right. Uh, I still had his oh, yeah, yeah. Come, come. Mm -hmm. so, uh, his finish. So back in Have a Coop two and uh, three, it says, but at the end, it shall speak and not lie. That's it. And we see it speaking and not lying. We see that these the the uh, the prophecies are holding up to be true. Yes. Okay. Yes. They even had a guy I can't remember, but he had commented one time. Uh, he said, "I don't I don't ascribe to the Hebrew Israelites." I think an elder apostle told her put his video up, the little snippet, and he said, "I don't ascribe to the Hebrew Israelites, but everything they've been saying is happening." No shit. Right. See, speaking because the the they was we when we've been speaking starting with our apostles yep. and our elders yep. on down. We've been speaking about the prophecies written in the scriptures to yes. come, and now what we were speaking about is happening, yep. and it's been happening for years and yep. many years. You know, it's but now we see it. Uh, we see the end. Yes. You know. The end of this man's kingdom yes. is crumbling, man. Yes. It's deteriorating. This place is falling apart. The and sins. that's a prophecy. That's right. Babylon the Great is 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 is, is, is falling. It's, it's falling. falling. Yeah. Uh, uh, Revelation eighteen, I believe, like the fourth verse. Yep. But I continue back in Habakkuk, and I'm on the uh, Habakkuk two and verse four. It says, "Behold, his soul which is lifted up is not upright in him." Yep. <clears throat> Ooh. And he is, his, his soul, it, it ain't upright, mm -hmm. but he's a proud, pompous jackass, man. And you know? how, you know what I'm saying, how, you, uh, how is one to be upright? What makes the person exactly. upright? Yep. The law. Yep. That go back to the point you was making about this man is anti-Mashayat. Uh, yes. He's anti-Messiah, man. Yep. Because he is against. He's against this whole book. That's right. 
You know, and he's definitely against, he's not a man of the law. No. He's a lawless man. Yes. That's why the Lord asked him, what did thou done to, 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 to roughly paraphrase? Right. Yeah. What, what you doing with my, my word? In my covenant. Yeah. yeah. Cause this the covenant, the covenant is in the, in the scriptures. Yes. Yes. And what he do with the covenant? He said that it's for the whole world. That too. Yeah. That's against the scripture. That's right. Show is. This is only for the children of Israel. And that's a that's scriptural. All throughout the scriptures. The Lord spoke to Israel. Right. Hey, how biased is it to have all the authors of the of the, of the books and the scriptures to be Israelites? Huh. How biased hmm. is it to when you talk about love and special people out of all the people created, you only targeting one group of people. Yep. The most high is biased, he's discriminating, all of that <laughs> he's stuff. He's a separatist. You know? Why he's a he, dictator. Why does, he, why does he, out, he highlight chosen lineage all through the scripture? Yeah. Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Jacob. Jacob, Israel, when it's concerning salvation. Yes, yes. No other nation is highlighted, the lineage is highlighted throughout the scriptures like Israel. That's right. So what's, the, what's up with that? Right. And the misconception that you, these so-called wacky tacky Christians have is the Lord came and opened it up for everybody. That's a lie. We can get that right out of the book of, of St. Matthew, the first book of the New Testament, right. 1 and 21. It said he will save his people from their sins. Right. Hey, that's in, see, you go to Matthew 1 and 1, you can go to Luke 1 yep. and 1. Yep. Oh, no, not Luke 1 and 1. Luke 1 is starting at the 68th verse. Yeah, on to the end. Yeah, on to yeah, the end. Show sure, right. He talk about it talks uh specifically. It talks uh, uh possessive pro uh pro, 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 uh I'm sorry, possessive mm -hmm. pronoun talk. Possessive pronoun talk. Matter of fact, we can, I we can, can grab get it. it. We start at the sixty eight. That's place. right. I don't quit putting these glasses down. This is the book of Saint Luke. Chapter 1 and verse 68. It says, Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. That's possessive pronoun right there. Why? Why is this in the New Testament? The New the Testament. It shouldn't. Why is you in the first chapter too? Yeah. Of the, of the book. Ain't of even got out the first chapter. You uh, as a you wacky tacky Christians, you should ask that question to yourself. But you know why you ain't asking the question? Because y'all don't study, y'all yep. don't read, and ultimately yep. the most high ain't, they ain't, ain't dealing, dealing with, you. with you. You know, let's deal with the studying and, and read. Y'all ain't getting into this book. Nope. Because if you got sat down and got into this book and looked at what it was saying, whether you agreed with it or not, you would have to say, this is only for This can't be for the whole no. world. From Genesis to Revelation. All the way from, yes. Yep. It doesn't change. Yep. You would think at one point, it'd be, okay, enough talk about only these special people. We got to get to, it's all about the whole world. Where's the world, the whole world. And John 3, 16, the world, the word world in that scripture is talking about the world of Israel. Right. It's cosmos. And they don't know history. They don't know. So when they see there's no difference between the Jew or the Greek, yep. Yep. the free, the bond, yep. the male or female, the way it talks about salvation unto the Gentiles yes. and the strangers. Yes. You don't know what it's talking That's about because right. you don't study. The scripture says right. study to show thyself approved. That's talking about, like the brother said, pertaining to salvation, those strangers, those Gentiles, those Greeks, those were Israelites, man. Right. Okay. In a Gentile state of mind. It's that what, 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 do, what do we mean by Gentile state of mind? The language they were speaking. They were speaking another tongue. Yes. Mainly at that time, it was the Greek, Greek. tongue. Yep. And they were practicing Greek outside yep. yeah, Greek customs, you know? Yep. Mainly. Yep. But it was, they was, it was, you know, it was also uh, other practices and languages that uh, our people were speaking yes. you know, during that time. But mainly it was the Greek way of life. Yep. Just like we have here today. Okay. Uh, we didn't know we was Israelites before this, so what, what was going on? We was in a heathenistic state of mind. Exactly. Through what? How we lived our life. Exactly. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, what year is that? Luke oh, 1 and 68. Luke. Okay, Luke 1 and 68. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. Watch, now watch as we read these verses. Watch how many times the scriptures get possessive pronouns. Yes. On us, as far as, you know, the 
the talk or the reading of yes. it. Yes. You got it right. It says, for he had visited and redeemed his people. Again. That's twice. Go ahead, I. And has raised up a... So it's letting you know mm -hmm. who his people is because it starts off talking about the redemption is for Israel. It, 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 if it was for the whole world, it should have said the whole world and it should have been for the people, the, the, in, the inhabited planet. Right. Or in community. That's it. You know? But that's not what it's talking about. It say, verse 69, Luke 1 and 69, and has raised up and horn of salvation, okay, for us. So we're dealing with salvation. It's yeah. already telling you, once yes. you read the 68 verse, <laughs> yeah. you have the subject matter of who this is pertaining to. Oh, you got it, out. Right? It say, and hath raised up an horn of salvation for us. So we already know who the us is. Mm -hmm. And the salvation, the horn of salvation, we know who that is. Right. It just said it. Yeah. <laughs> In the 68th verse. This is, this is elementary. Yeah. To us. Know, it's yeah. Like... It, it, and it's plain. We're not even, we're just reading verbatim. So once you read this and you see other scriptures like John 3, 16. Yes. No difference, but there's no difference between yes. the Jew or the Greek. You have to say, what is the, hold on, hold on. It's something we not, we got to figure out what this is talking about. Because the scriptures say the Most High is not the author of confusion. Right. The the scriptures, oh, we 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 didn't get it, but the scriptures say make make it plain upon table. That's right. We're supposed to break the scriptures down in plain, plain. form so that the people can understand. Yes. The same way it was broken down to us. Yes. It wasn't some hard and complicated. Right. You know, and some advanced BC. college course. One garbage. two three. Yes. It's A B C one two three. Elementary, my dear Watson, is say, and hath raised up an horn of salvation for us in the house of his servant David. Now, who was in the house of hmm. David? Because Edom, the Most High, put the spirit on David, and he put him on the mission to destroy yes. the nation of Edom. Yes, and other nations. Yes, King. What was King David doing? Moabites and Ammonites and Edomites and Hamites and Japhites and the other ites. In the scriptures that's yeah. not Israelites. Yeah, right. They were not in the house of King David. No. They were getting their asses kicked. Yes. Check that out. Yes. Go read the history. Go read the Samuels and first and second Samuels and first and second Kings and the first and second Chronicles. It'll tell you all about the ass kicking that King David yes. was doing. To the other nations. You know something I wanna say real quick. Our people have a misconception because of how they've learned in this so-called school system that the only time you had uh, uh, so-called black men was in Africa. The, 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 the northern tribes, they was just down here and we all come from one place. Right, okay. they, was over, they was over there with Moab, the Bering Strait. They came across the Bering Strait. <laughs> yeah. That's what they would like yeah. us to believe. Yes, a bunch of hooey. So when you tell, it's, it's, it's surprising for our people even to this day to see a Jake in Spain, on Germany, on Europe. Like we never dwelt in, James 1 and 1 say we scattered abroad. That means we everywhere. We've been, we are all over the earth. Okay? So that misconception that we was all just kind of, you know, just all stuck in one little location till... The great right. white man came. Right. You know, right. that's a bunch of junk, man. You can't get a, a so-called Negro to believe that we were we were living in Greece. Yeah, and that we, and and then on top of that, at a period of time during the Dark Ages, we were ruling. We were royal people. Yeah, we were going off, but we were royal. Yep. You know, we the whites, the so-called white man Esau, the Edomites, they were the nannies. And the and the and the and the yes, laborers, yes, taking care of our children, yes, and and, and keep, keeping our palaces clean, yes. See, and things got flipped, turned upside down, like the Fresh Prince of Bel Air, you know. And, and that's it's gonna get flipped back again. That's it. And it's gonna stay that way once he get flipped back. Yeah, that's the uh, 
what is that in Isaiah 29, I believe, like 16, it says, surely you turn the things upside down. Yep. Can we get that real yes, quick? Yes, indeed. I can get it, you know. I got it. I believe it's that uh, 29 and 16. Uh-oh. Come on. Yep. It's the book of Isaiah, chapter 29 and verse 16. It says, Surely you're turning of things upside down. So, real quick, the, I just want to bring this out real mm -hmm. quick because the brother said the most high finna flip things back around. How they supposed to be. Yep. You know? Yep. You got it. It say, shall be esteemed as the potter's clay. So, surely, and who's turned things upside right. down? You read the 15th verse. You know, the one that seek deep to hide their counsel from yes. the most high. Who is that talking huh. about? Is talking about the elites of this society, yep. the international bankers, the ones that control the money system. Yes, they're the ones that control this world. They have they have control over the money. Yep. There's a saying by, I believe it was Amsha sure. Meyer Bawa. Uh -huh. If it wasn't him, it was his father Moses uh, Bawa. I can't remember, but anyway, he said, "I care not who." Uh, make the, the laws. Law. Give me control over. A, give me control over a, a nation's, nation's money. Mm -hmm. I care not who makes the laws. Yep. Why would he make a statement like that? Right. Because he understands whoever controls the money ultimately really does control yeah, the yeah. law. They are. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. You know. And they over the law too. And what's the common denominator? That everybody has to use his so-called money. Yes. Because whether you're a lawyer, whether you're a Supreme Court judge, yep. whether you're the a president, seat, uh, president. Whether you the CEO of big banking, yep. former you big former, you all have to get paid in denomination USDA <laughs> Federal <Currency>. Reserve yes. <laughs> Federal Reserve notes. notes. <laughs> they don't deal with them. That's right. They sure don't. They and, don't touch. That's and filthy. Pay your taxes. <laughs> Thirty percent of what you make a year. And that's um, that's wicked as hell. You got it, like, right. uh, Cause you start from the top. Uh huh. Show, sure. yeah. Uh, Isaiah twenty nine and sixteen. Mm -hmm. Surely you're turning of things upside down. See, surely you're meaning Esau's turning mm -hmm. of things upside down. Shall go ahead. Shall be esteemed as the potter's clay. Should be rec. In other words, esteem mean recognized uh -huh. as the potter's clay. Uh -huh. Who's 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 the uh, the potter? That's right. The Most High. That's right. Really, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Uh huh. Okay, they're shaping the clay. They shape the clay. How they so you know? turning yep. it upside down. That was part of the part of the plan. Yep. Okay, for it to get that way, it goes, yep. that goes back to uh, Job nine and twenty four. Yep. The earth is yep. given into the hand of the wicked. Yes. To turn the world upside yeah. down. To make it bad. To put hell on his people. Oh. Y'all cheated on me. Let me fix y'all a little red wagon. Right. And let me show you the height of evil. Yes. And abomination. Yes, sir. And wickedness. Yes, I'm gonna sir. I'm going to show you what it looks what like. It, what disobeying mean, this is what disobedience means. Right. Because through all that ab abominations and uh, wickedness and evil, that fell upon the children of Israel heavy. You see? This man's way of life fucked us up. Which is no way of life. Yeah, it is no way of life. It's, it's really a way, way of death. death. Yes. That's it. Every, from every, every aspect, no matter what you can say, no matter what, all his ways lead to death, man. No matter what it is. It's, okay, well, he provides us with water. Yeah, and that water is, is polluted. Right. Full of fluoride. And what about health care? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Pill, pill shots, and surgery. <laughs> And, and you know why you in there getting them pill shots and surgery in the first place? Because of the food that it, food. is poison. Hmm. His food is drugs. And the, you can't, you, we can't really say fresh air. Can't. Ooh, I'm a, I need to go outside get and a get a breath. breath. Yeah, right. A breath of fresh air. You know? Every turn is, is wickedness. You turn on the television. You deal with these, his technology. Everything is geared in abomination. Yes. Yes. And the it. most high hates all abominations. Isaiah 29 and 16. Surely your turning of things upside down shall be esteemed as the potter's clay. For shall the work say of him that made it, he made me not? Or, Is that, mm -hmm. I'm sorry, go ahead. or shall the thing framed say of him that framed it, 
he had no understanding. And that's the really the mindset of Esau. Yes. Edom is that, you know what? I can make this world a better place. Matter, I mean, maybe not make it a better, I'm going to make it my way. Yeah. I'm going to yeah. I'm a, I'm a, uh, uh, go against the grain on, on all the creation. Yeah. Because that's take- like what you're saying when you... When you push the uh, the LGBTQ all the way to Z energy throughout the uh, earth, that's you going. That's you saying uh, 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 the Most High didn't do these things. Didn't do, he didn't do didn't it right. Didn't make it right. Male and fe- man on, on female ain't the right way. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Do what you want to do. Do as thou will. Don't be trying to live a a, a life. According to what these scriptures say to do, do whatever you feel like doing, whatever your little flesh feel like getting into, go do that. But as long as it makes you happy, right? And then end up miserable, cause that's see that's the uh, the self pitch. That's the self pitch is that, but Damn. the effects of it is misery. stress, oppression, misery, to the point of uh, suicide in this country. Yep. Yep. And check that out. Yeah. He's selling you dreams, hope, happiness by telling you got freedom. You can do this, that, and the third. And you and then look at the result. Look at this place. This place is a is a is a is a straight up abomination, man. You see, if you follow Esau Edom, you'll be led down a path of destruction. Starting, you're gonna start with misery, then you're gonna end up getting destroyed. But if you follow the path of righteousness, this path leads to life everlasting. Right. This man wants you in the pit. Yep. He want to. Uh, uh, he want to see your soul not upright. He wants your soul to be abominable. Yeah. And he's he's done a perfect job too. He sure has because two thirds of our people deserve destruction, man. And I wanted to say something on the last verse you read. Uh, Isaiah 29 and 16, uh-huh. it says, For surely you turn the things upside down shall be esteemed as the potter's clay. Yes. Meaning, if the Most High is the creator of the clay, and he intended for the clay to be flipped up, you know, uh, the, 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 the vase, so to speak. Right. Vase, vase. Right. To be flipped upside down, it's nothing for him to set it back up right again. Nothing. That's the whole the whole point. Yes. Because he's the potter yes. of the clay. Yes. It's nothing for the most high to turn this world, get this earth back in order. And that's where we at, going back to prophecy. Yep. We're in a time where this man is going down. Yes. And we are coming up. Yes. Now we're not coming up in a sense of monetary. Yeah, 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 yeah. Socially, yeah. Fam- being famous and all yeah. of that. We coming up in the spirit. Yes. It takes wisdom, uh, wisdom and knowledge and understanding is where we elevated at. Yes. That's what it's going to take. Yes. To, to rule the kingdom. That's right. We're going to rule the kingdom according to wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Yes. And the law. Yes. The law is wisdom and knowledge and understanding. Yes. A world with, where you dwell is righteousness. That's it. You see? And this is the seed of righteousness right now. The elect. Okay. And it's going to grow into a whole tree. Just that little mustard seed that's about to sprout and grow. It's already sprouted. Right. And it's going to flourish throughout the whole earth. And look at this man's kingdom. What is his kingdom, really? What is the power the power force on this planet Earth? It's the beast. Yeah. According to, according to Daniel, the seventh chapter, according to the book of Revelation, yep. a few chapters. Yep. Chapter 17. Chapter twelve, chapter thirteen, okay, just to give you know some script, put yep, some scriptures yep, out there, or yep. chapters out there, you know. And the beast is what? Who's riding on the beast? The whore, the beast, the well favored harlot. That's it. The well favored harlot. <laughs> Everybody wants this hoe. Yeah. <laughs> and then what they want from the hoe, uh, uh, according to how the scriptures describe it, they want what's in that gold. They go. Oh, they go. Look at that cup. Oh, in that cup. No, you don't. And what does the scripture say? The nations have drunken up the golden cup. Therefore, the nations are mad. mad. Yeah. Meaning they bugged out their Out of their minds. minds. And they literally mad too. Yeah. They, they, bugged, they out. bugged out. They crazy. 
like the mad habit. Because what? When you drink wine, it turns you into a. If you get it Spirits. drunk. Yes. And it acts it. When you get drunk, you just had all this strong and little whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah. Then you, you, uh, a phrase that could be applied to you is you're a madman. Yeah. You're acting like a madman. Yeah. Man. When people get drunk, super drunk, they act like mad people. Wine is a mocker. Yeah. Yeah. They act nuts. They go outside of their they, they sanity. You know? Ooh. Uh, and that's what the, the problem is. Yes. People trying to process something that's supposed to be so simple, but this man made it complicated. Just yes. to live. Just Living life should not be a complicated thing where you're trying to figure out. That's why we, that's, ultimately, that's really why we, uh, well, according to the scripture, uh, Romans 11 and 7 and 8, that's why, you know, we see uh, Israel seek, uh, uh, how's it worded? I get it. It's a lock. I don't want to uh, right. butcher it. And I should know it, but it's slipping my it's mind right. right now. Shit. Uh, this is the book of Romans, chapter 11 and verse 7. It says, what then? Israel hath not obtained that which he seeketh for. And what is Israel seeking to obtain? Yes. It is the truth. Yes. See, when you have, when you know your nationality, when you have cult, true culture, heritage, you're not wondering about what's my purpose in life you know who you where you come from yeah and this is what we do yes and what we doing we had to, yes uh we had the uh we have the covenants okay or the, let's go back to the law the law tells us what we're supposed to do this is how you serve the one that created you that's right this is how i want you to live on the planet that's right yes but when you don't know who you are when you're in this chaotic, abominable world that this devil has set up, then you're going to have them that, that mindset. Yeah. What the hell is going on? Why am I here? What's the purpose? I just do the same thing every day. What's the, what, what is this all about? Well, like the brother say, if you don't know who you are, first of all, you, you, you already destroyed. Right. You destroyed. The scriptures say our people are destroyed for right. lack of knowledge. Because with who you are comes how this particular group of people live yes yes okay oh i'm an israelite well we just got the brother just got through talking about from genesis to revelation throughout the apocrypha this is pertaining to the children of israel well then let's see how the children of israel are supposed to live since i i found out that i'm an israelite right well then how in the world am i supposed to conduct myself how am I supposed to live? Right. And then it resonates with our spirit. We yes. read it and say, okay, this makes sense for us to do these things because it benefits us. Yes. You see, the law is very beneficial. Don't eat pork. Right. Mm, okay. Don't sleep with another a man sleep don't sleep with another man. A woman don't sleep with another woman. Right. Oh, okay, I see yeah. why. Don't sleep with that man, woman. Saying so, then you know, saying that they got uh Laws that are natural to us. Yes, right. Meaning, you are by right nature, know. we yes. keep certain laws. Yep, yep. Like Floyd, maybe I was watching something, a little interview, or some, uh, a short documentary dealing with uh, Floyd Mayweather, and it was talking about his, how he was training and what he ate. Yeah. And when it got to the steak, you know, it said the steak was well done. Because mm. that's in Jake's spirit. Yes. We don't eat no red meat. No. Well, well, we eat red meat, but we don't eat yeah, meat that's raw. Got raw with blood in it. We don't even want to see pink in there. No. But now, because he saw his uh, way of life yes. is saturated in yes. this in this place, you got some of our people that want that that uh steak that talk, raw, talk. yeah that 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 medium rare and red yeah. shit. Yeah, I want it. I, I want that thing to be alive on my plate. And then Jacob brag about that shit because you are of your father the devil, John yeah. eight and forty four. You want to live up to his standard. Right. This is what make me a good man. Plus, da, da, da. the steak ain't got no uh, parasites. It's dry. Yeah. Well, it's dry. If you we cook it well done, it ain't. It, you cooked all the juice the, out of it. Yeah. It's, it's a dry steak yeah. now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what he had you to believe? <laughs> you know. But for the most part. Jake is Jake's spirit. They're not about 
uh, uh, bloody meat. Bloody meat. You know, they like their meat well done. Yes, indeed. No. Uh, uh, well, Romans. Romans yes, eleven uh, and seven. Did you finish that verse? Uh, lie. Okay, let's finish. This is Romans eleven and seven. What then Israel had not obtained that which? Wait a hold on. It said Israel again in the New Testament. Israel ain't. Why is this concerning Israel so much? In the same chapter that talk about the wild olive tree. And yep. Grafted, grafted in. Yep. And yep. now you Christians, so called Christians, will read that. And oh, it's all the Greek, the Gentiles. Well, you got to read the whole chapter. Because at the thing. end of it, it says, at the end of the 11th chapter, it says that that's the chapter that says, all of Israel shall be saved. Yes. Check that out. Yes. But you got it up. Yes. And that, what the brother is saying is in the 26th verse. You know, uh, Romans 11 and uh, 7. But then, Israel had not a Obtain that which he seeketh for, but the election. Now it's getting more specific about Israel. Yeah. It, okay, Israel, but now there's an election in Israel. Mm -hmm. It say, but the election hath obtained it. So that's that's more secular, you yeah. know, uh, more seclusion. Yeah. You know, now you know what I got my people right here, but you know what I don't even want all of them. I want that little bit of the little grain of sand right there. Let yeah. me get that little bit. It say, but the election hath obtained it, and the rest were blinded. The rest of Israel was blinded. Right. Showing there's no even no concern for the rest of the nations. Yeah, so why, why how the hell most high going to skip over the majority of his people and go to the other nations? Yeah, right. Yeah. You'd have to think about that logically. I got children. I got Let's say I got seven children. It ain't but two of them I want to save. But I save them two children, and instead of worrying about the mother five, I go outside of my house, go down the street, and go get some other people's children out of their house. That don't even make no sense. That's straight up. Of course I'm going to be more concerned with my children. Man, come on, man. Christianity is whack, and it's through and played out, man. Right. Uh, that's it on that. That was it on that. Let's go back to that uh, Luke 68. Yes. And, uh, let's finish that yes, out it. and then, you know. Yeah, that con. Okay. But we never finished it. Yep. This is Luke 1 and 68. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, for he hath visited and redeemed his people, and hath raised up an horn of salvation for us in the house of his servant David. And he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets. who, And the prophets are Israelites, man. And yeah, ain't that something? Yeah. When you look at all the prophets in the scriptures, okay, dealing with who for who uh, wrote the books or had a scribe, you yes. know, uh, Israelites. Yeah. You go to Nahum, Habakkuk, Jeremiah, Isaiah, Amos, <laughs> the rest of the prophets. Yeah. They all Israelites. Yeah. What's up with this? Why is the Most High so <laughs> yeah. discriminate? They were all given the promise. Okay. It's a which have been since the world began. Bam. The, the holy prophets. Have yes. Been, that let us know that the prophets been here since the beginning of time, yep. so to speak. Yep. You got it. That we should be saved from our enemies. Wait, wait. God so loved the world. Well, we, right. then, our enemies supposed to make it to them. If God and Jesus love everybody, then there's no... There's no being saved from enemies. And they going to make it too. It already expressed who was talking about from the 68 verse. Israel. Period. Saving Israel Period. from their enemies. Period. Who's the enemies? Everybody you read about in Psalm 82. Yep, yep. And the arch enemy is Edom. Starting with old Esau himself. It say that we should be saved from our enemies and from the hand of all that hate us. Who is the us? The Israelites. Yeah. And if you could, that one last verse. Uh -huh. To perform the mercy promised to our fathers. Whose fathers? We got to we go back to the 68 verse. The mercy that was not promised to the whole world. Now, no. why is this in the New Testament? If it's yeah. all about it, it was a change of, and so God had a change of heart, and it, now it's about the whole Jesus. world. Go let everybody in, Jesus. This shouldn't be in there. Should not be in here. That should make you feel bad as a Christian. <laughs> <laughs> Straight up. 
It say, uh, Luke 1 and 72, to perform the mercy promised to our fathers and to, the, and to remember his holy covenant. Who was that given to? Right. It say, the oath which he swore to our father Abraham, hmm. that he would grant unto us that we, being delivered out of the hand of our enemies, might serve him without fear. You can't get around that. There's no there's no getting around that vocab. Okay? You wacky tacky Christians, it's over. Okay? Yeah. Um well, oh, but we the, had the Habakkuk. I never okay. finished that. Yeah, Habakkuk. let's finish that. But Habakkuk 2 and 4 it says, Behold, his soul which is lifted up is not upright in him. Yep, yep. But the just shall live by his faith. Yep. And the just is the Israelites. And, and after the, specifically the election. You got that's it. That's the time that we're in. That's right. We're in a time where we only thing we're about to have is faith. But yep. we're talking about news and, you know, the uh, open, you know, the title yep. of the lesson yep. being Open Forum News and Prophecy, where the reason we're looking at the news is to to uh, line it up with biblical prophecy, filter it through the, through the scriptures. Yep. You see? And we at the time where this man is going down, we're, we're living in a fallen king. We're living under a fallen kingdom right now. Yep. You know? And in the, and we live in a time where the last judgment. So play things are about to get hectic out here. Yes. Like the scriptures say, in the yes. last days we shall we shall be living perilous times. Yes. Perilous yes. Days. Yes. And these are perilous times. The days are evil. Gas is four dollars. Just say like four nineteen on average. Right. Diesel five dollars. Just those things, just just now, that. These was like a six, huh? Oh, okay. It didn't jump some more. Okay, I don't, I don't. Okay, you it's see five, that? Okay. And they looking for ten, which is gonna go up more. Cause that premium, if you get the ninety one or whatever. Oh yeah, octane, that octane come. You talking four forty, four fifty, sixty, something like that? I, I can't. I ain't. Yeah. I don't get yeah. it. Yeah. Me neither. You know. So, I, but yeah. So what does that mean? That's gonna be a trickle down effect. That's right. Everybody's gonna feel it. The price of everything has to go up. Has to. It check this out. I was in Walmart the other day and I noticed something. All of the meat in the uh uh the the the, the, the meat section and in, in that section of Walmart is now all in glass cases. Remember how it used to just be sitting out in the yeah. little refrigerated sections? Yeah. All of those things have a top, they can close it now. Yeah. Why is that? Cause motherfuckers is jacking meat left and right. They stealing, man, because they hungry. Right. We about to see this close businesses down because the logistics to run that what well, they need logistics right. to happen to run right. their business. That's right. They need people to bring yes. products. They need to ship out things. People they need transit has to happen. Yes. You know? Right now, ain't no shortage of warehouse jobs. You can go get a warehouse job just like that. I get alerts every day. That's because, one, they not paying them enough to make it doing that shit. Two, it's hard work, okay? And what's the point in going to work if I'm just going to be spinning my wheels and there's no gain? Yep. What, what am I going to go to work for? This, in the last couple of years, they had something, I think, I can't remember what Esau called it, but this is more people left their jobs in the last two years than in any other time, man. It's about to get bad out It's here. about to get bad. The layoffs, they coming. They coming. Been, uh, uh, what is it called? Uh, uh, unemployment, uh, yeah. bankrupt, bankruptcy. Bankrupt, yes, yes. Business, you know, going out of business. Yes. We in that time. Yeah. It's about, it's about the, all the while, the, the MOTB. Yeah. Is 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 ready to go? Ready to go. It's just boxed up and ready to go. I'm gonna bring out a quick scripture. Uh -huh. Ephesians five and fifteen. See then that you walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise. See the the majority of the people of this world, they're walking as fools. You see, and they can't see what's really going on. Even those insiders and the preppers that see the back, 
they don't ultimately know the whole they don't know the whole the whole game plan. You see? Right. They don't know the whole they don't know what they don't know is the understanding of these prophecies. They won't somehow, some way make it good system. again. Yeah. Come back in yeah. and play. Alex so Jones. They get they, uh, eat my privilege. Back. Yes. Yeah. That's all they want. That's all they want. That's all they want. <laughs> they just want it back how they used to have it. Yeah. But that's not going to happen. Okay? According to these prophecies, this place is about to be destroyed. Yeah. Hey, uh, when when he's about to fill his belly. Yep. They say, yeah. When that man set the table and, the, and garnish the table with all the fixings. <laughs> the fixings. This is according to Job, you know, Job yep. the 20th chapter. Yep, yep. When he is about to fill his belly. And he worked so hard. Now it's time to eat. He I smell that food. Mm -hmm. And most times say he's going to rain down, rain it down yes. upon him. Matter of fact, we can close on yeah, that. Okay. I'll bring it out. This is Job chapter 20 in verse uh, 22. In the fullness of his sufficiency, he shall be in straits. Right. And we not we just about there. Yep. To this man being yep. in the fullness of his sufficiency. Yep. That's when the really when the MOTV, okay, is, 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 is fulfilled. Yes. When people is mandated, if you want to keep your job, you want to eat. What, you want to eat. You wanna you wanna operate on this grid and, and buy and sell and live. You wanna live in your you apartment. You still wanna have fun. You want this phone. You wanna have <laughs> access to social media or not. <laughs> you wanna stay in the you wanna play in the metaverse and Facebooking and Instagramming right. and you wanna ride scooters downtown? Yeah. <laughs> you better <laughs> have this that's thing. That's the big thing going on. Yeah, yeah, that's the big thing. Madness. You know, straight madness. But yeah, you're gonna have to have it. Yeah. So that's I gotta have it. Yeah, and then it's gonna come down to the point if you don't got it, it's gonna come down to life or death. Period. Cause you used to you, you at this point you're not with this what are you here for? You useless. You're not under my control. Yeah. You useless. I gotta get you out of here. Yeah. So. You taking up space and air and you leaving a carbon footprint. Because that's another thing that they push heavily. Oh, we got to bring down the carbon footprint. The car. Whenever had this devil been concerned with the, the, the welfare of the earth? Right. Now all of a sudden carbon. Right. All the piss and shit that, that all these people on these Navy ships and all these different commerce ships and boats and all this stuff out in the water. Do you know where the species and the piss go? Right into Straight the ocean. Straight into the ocean. One big cesspool. When they, uh, when a, a person dies and they take them to a funeral home to be embalmed, when they are on top of that table, which is just like an operating table, they make incisions in the person. All of those fluids that come out of that person, guess where they drain to? Right into the drinking source. Mm. So, there was a report that even the fish in the ocean are showing up with opioids in their system, different types of drugs, okay? Because these things are in our water system, okay? People that have passed and deceased, their blood is being drained right into the same water that is so-called filtered and cleaned for us to drink and bathe in. This man got to go. Yeah. Well, there will be no uh, flesh left to say. No. That's also where we at. Yes. People are sick. People are so sick that you got a lot of people that are getting there, forced to get themselves into some type of health information. Got or get to. access to it and start changing some things. Got to. How many people, I can't drink soda and smoke cigarettes yeah. and do these yeah. things no more. Yeah. You know? Yeah. You got it, right? Uh... Job 9, uh, 9, 24. Job 20 and uh, 22. In the fullness of his sufficiency, he shall be in straits. Right. So like I was uh, saying, really the fullness of his sufficiency is when that MOTB is, is mandated. Yes. You know, because that's when things are going to move at warp speed for real. And the kingdom is going to be right around the corner from that point. That's right. You know. That's right. 
Right. And said, but in that point in time, the more he's going to be in what? Straits. straits. Most high got him already in straits, right? As That's we, right. As we speak. That's right. So he's going to put him in a hard position, a position of difficulty yes. to reach his NWO, which he's not going to get to. That's right. Because why? He's going to put him, most high going to put this man in a spiritual straight jacket. Yes. Yes. This fucking madman is going to be put him strapped up. <laughs> Sit your ass down, nigga. And there's no way of getting out of this third woe. There's no way of getting out of this third woe. All roads lead to the MOTB and to the third world's war, which that MOTB, the Karagma, is going to come before that third woe, man. Okay? But when one happens, the other one is going to happen right behind right, it. Right, right, right. That's why the scriptures say the end is not yet. It's gonna be a domino effect. Yeah. When you hit that domino, it happened quick. It's quick from there. Yeah. And <laughs> dominoes be falling fast as they, they just keep on going. No. It's a uh in the full uh Salakia. It says, Every hand of the wicked shall come upon him. When he is about to fill his belly, the Most High shall cast the fear of his wrath upon him and shall rain it upon him while he is eating. That's the third. That's what you were just going into. Yep. That's the third world's war. Yep. When he when he's getting to the point, see the NC, just check it out. The MOTB is everybody here. That's what he wants. I got Everybody's you. getting got this you. thing. Yep. And a lot of, you know what? A lot of people ain't who going to be with it. Yep. Outside of the, the brothers the, and sisters the that, elite, that mm -hmm. are part of the elect, yep. you know, yep. is going to resist. You yep. see what I'm saying? And you got that. It's in motion. So he's looking like, yes, I'm got in the fullness it. of my sufficiency. Yep. I'm eating. Yep. All this lay riding put in. Yep. Now I get to enjoy it. And then what? The Most High is going to rain this war yes. down on you. The, the sky going to fall down on your ass. The thermonuclear warheads is going to obliterate this place. Yes. And good riddance. You know? And that's what's gonna uh, take this man out of out of his rulership, right? Is that yes? He's gonna, gonna destroy this place we know as America and the scriptures, Babylon the Great, yes, as well as other cult names. Yes, the Lord is gonna be here putting in work, man. Okay, our Lord and Savior is gonna come back in the midst of all of this, and those that are at war with each other, they gonna all turn and try to fight the Lord, right? That's in uh, Satan and his angels. Yeah. That's yeah. in uh, yeah, it's a few scriptures. Yep. Yeah. But they gonna it's to no avail, and the kingdom of heaven is gonna be uh, fully established here on the planet Earth, man. Yep. Yeah. Like okay. Revelation the twelfth chapter. Yeah. And uh, second it is what that thirteen I believe. Uh -oh. I believe it's second it is the thirteenth chapter. You know. So. Huh. Yeah. So with that man, you know we're gonna end it right there. And uh, Lord willing, this was edifying. And we're going to say Shalom. It's on to the next one. Shalom. Shalom.